Hey gang, it's Zippo, and we uh, decided to revisit the BR6 today, and I was pretty much bent on getting the thing running. I tested the coil again, and the coil kept coming back as being good. I put the points eliminator in, couldn't, you know, I get small spark you guys saw in the other video uh, coming through my tester, but no spark to the um, spark plug, so no no spark, no run. Um, but put my mind to it today to go through everything again, and what it actually wound up being was my point gap. And also, uh, anybody who's familiar with these older point systems, um, you have to perfectly center the top point contact with the bottom point contact or you get a weak spark. It's got to it's got to meet perfectly. Well, it was out of adjustment. It was hitting off center, offset a little bit, and I had set the gap to 20 thousandths, which is what the book called for but it turned out that twenty thousandths was not enough I actually had to open it up to twenty two thousandths once I did that I took the uh, spark plug which um, is the D16 and the one known good one that I had put it in sprayed a little bit of ether down in the carburetor and what did it do? It really? <laughs> So I think I've got it fairly well dialed in. I think I'm going to have to replace the main jet uh, adjustment screw. Not the main jet itself, but the adjustment screw. It's got a ridge going around it. Not a problem there. But I'm going to show you guys uh, how easy it is to start. This is a 2 and 3 quarter horse 1946 BR6 being started by my lovely daughter. Here we go. Give it a yank. Here goes attempt number two. Yank. Nope. Well, let's switch places. I'll go ahead and try to pull start it and see if uh, Dad can get it going. Turtle lover can get behind the screen. See, now an engine is going to lie to you only when you have it on BR6 going. All it cost was uh, what I paid for the motor itself. Um, as you can hear, I may still have to go back in and readjust the points just a hair more to get that miss out. I'm not sure if it's a spark miss or if it's a carb adjustment miss. But uh, I'll get her figured. But at least she's running. There it is, folks. And thank you, everyone, who uh, gave me some recommendations on things to check and uh, the private messages and the comments both. Um, I'll get this uh, video edited, uh, two separate parts, and uh, get it put on as soon as I can. So you guys, I've had a few guys ask me, 
uh, what the story is on it, whether I got it running or not. So there you got the answer. It's Zippo and Turtle Over X4. Saying see ya.